Hey guys, I hope you're well today. Happy Aquarius season. This is episode three of my series about what happens when you wear the wrong lines for your kibby body type. Today, I'm gonna to be dressing up as a classic type. <laughs> I, I mean, <clears throat> listen, I have heard that classic lines are supposed to be neutral, like they're just the middle ground, but I, I'm like, no. <laughs> Classics are their very own body type. They are uh, marked by levels of sophistication and balance, clean lines, but they are by no means boring. They look drop dead gorgeous in their lines. Honestly, it's the same for any other body type. When you wear your lines, you tend to look um, a bit more harmonious in your style. Also, if you're aware of your lines, then you know how to make your outfit look a little bit more bold or a little bit more put together or a little bit more fill in the blank. It's all about knowing the rules and knowing how to just, just work them a little bit. Oh, by the way, make sure you check out the first two episodes of this series because I've already talked about what happens when flamboyant gamine wears romantic and dramatic lines and including their variations of soft dramatic and theatrical romantic. So if you haven't seen those videos yet, definitely check them out and um, continue commenting and giving me your feedback down in the comments. So definitely if you're a classic type, soft classic, dramatic classic, comment down below. Tell me what are your go-to outfits? What outfits make you feel the most yourself? What do you gravitate toward primarily? And let me know if any of these outfits are like spot on, like that is exactly what I love to wear, or if it's like way off. Anyway, if you're flamboyant gamine and you're here and you have tried looks like this as well and they just never look tried on you, it's all about solidarity now. <laughs> Let's go ahead and roll the clips from the day that I tried to be all sorts of classic. Hey guys, I'm back at Tarjay, and today I'm going to be on the hunt for classic lines. Classic lines, classic lines. Essentially what I'm looking for today, very sophisticated, symmetrical, clean, tailored lines. I don't want to I don't want to put on anything with frayed edges. I don't want anything with holes. I don't want anything that's like a super light fabric or super heavy fabric or super light or super dark or whatever. Everything will just be moderate and clean and in the middle. Hopefully, we'll be able to find the variations of that as well. And some more yin soft classic and also some more yang dramatic classic. I have some people in mind who I know are soft classics, dramatic classics, and honestly some people who are just regular classic. And I think about the things that they like to wear and the things that they're drawn to and I'm going to be kind of looking through their lens in a way. Oh, today I didn't really bother doing classic makeup. Um, someone recently, I think on the Romantic Lines video, commented that it would be helpful to see me and my lines initially and me in like my own style initially so that when I put on the pieces that are not my lines, you can see a big enough difference in what's going on. Previously, I was trying to look more romantic or more dramatic or whatever, and so now I'm just gonna just be true to me and wear styles that feel more flamboyant gamine. I went a little bit adventurous today because I wanted to kind of pull some twiggy vibes into my eye makeup look and so I have like these cute dots under my eye. I just think that's so fun. I was like, oh my gosh, I look like a doll. So I just played around with that today and obviously this hair is not classic hair at all. So I think that classic lines are going to look the most strange on me out of all of these lines. Um, apart from maybe soft gamine. I'm curious about how those lines will go. Today I think like soft classic is going to be very much not harmonious with my body at all. Like 
classic lines are supposed to be kind of neutral like anybody can just wear something minimal but i feel like particularly as a flamboyant gamine the essence of that is so bold and eccentric and out there that um i think it's just gonna look so funny to put on soft classic lines which is fine i accept that but also that's what makes this video series so fun is seeing how the lines are you know not harmonious and i i love that part of this work that i'm doing so anyway <laughs> all that said i'm gonna roll up in there and i'm um, trying a bunch of things that i'm not purchasing let's do it let's do it to it eight, 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 eight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. all right let's talk about these lines all right so this is my initial outfit that i went in with I've got my quirky hair, I've got my various patterns going on in my cropped pants, my, you know, socks showing. It's just an all-around look. So this is the first outfit that I put together. Um, I was looking for things that did not have, or that were very precisely tailored, not skin tight per se, but not oversized. Um, just that very beautiful, that sweet spot, that middle ground, that classics just look so beautiful and stunning in. A few years ago, I really wanted to rock classic lines. I really wanted to wear that outfit, which is very similar to what I've put together here. Um, a few missing details, but I really wanted to wear that outfit that's just a crisp button-down shirt with jeans. I really like desperately wanted to wear that look. I have yet to figure out as a flamboyant gamine how to wear a look that's like this that still looks flattering on me. It doesn't matter if I get the clothing items that are like my size. As you can see from this image, everything just doesn't sit quite right and I look like a little boy. <laughs> Um, which reminds me of my school uniform days, actually. I, when I was growing up, I went to private school and I had to wear uniforms. And it's cute when you're a little kid, but then I started to hit puberty and it turned into something that was a little bit less than cute. And I was so confused because at the time, my best friend was a soft classic. I was so confused because she always looked super cute in the uniform and nothing ever looked, like, weird on her. And... I always just felt like I was too, too something. Like, it always made my, my me feel just um, disproportionate. And I think that was very formative for me in the way that I started viewing my body because it was changing. But that's a separate topic. That's a different video. This outfit, even though it was, it's a very crisp, simple outfit. There's, it's a mid-rise denim. It's a weight of denim that's not too thick. It had a little stretch to it. It formed to my body, but it wasn't too jegging-like. It just followed all of the lines that I have, but it wasn't right for my frame. So I, I think this is a pretty simple classic look, and I think that when I think of classics that I know, like, I think they look really beautiful, and they tend to gravitate toward these button-down shirts because of the symmetry, I believe, that's in them. Like, they have the buttons down the middle. The buttons are concealed in this one, but it's still very symmetrical. All the lines are very exact, um, which I think accentuates the idea that, as a flamboyant gamine, your lines aren't particularly exact. Um, that's why this classic line doesn't particularly work on my body. But one of these days, I'm going to find out how to wear a button-down shirt um, and, and look really good. <laughs> and feel like I look really good. You tell me. Does this look okay on me? Does it look a little bit off? I think it looks a little bit off. So let's move on. We've got this t-shirt that I picked out. And honestly, guys, I mean, just look what it does. Like, you can see what's wrong. <laughs> and it's meant to be a fitted shirt. It's not meant to be skin tight. I saw it and I thought this would look really cool on maybe a dramatic classic with these cool lines on the shoulders. There's like a little bit of extra weight added with this neckline. Although I feel like maybe I should have gone for a more medium stripe and a less tiny stripe um, with this. And I think that would have been even more classic type. But anyway, I tried to make it work. I tucked it in 
to some trousers. Trousers always look good on me. It doesn't matter what I do. I'm grateful for trousers because classics wear trousers and so do Glen Boy and Gamines. It looked better after I tucked in the shirt and I put on the pants, but the shirt was just not right. And so let me know if that was even a classic shirt or if maybe it was just more of like a regular Gamine shirt. But it just didn't look quite right. I saw a few images that I was looking for um, when I was doing research for this video and stripes are good for classics just because it's like such a, a simple and usually quite symmetrical line. I think stripes can give a classic look a little bit more boldness or a bit more edge to their look. But I particularly chose this one also because it had this beautiful muted blue color and I just thought that was really pretty and it reminded me of some of my classic friends who wear very beautiful muted colors often and uh, how they tend to gravitate toward like beige, white, neutrals, you know, the whole nine yards. So yeah, I think that on a classic this shirt could look really good as long as it was perfectly their size and it fit their body exactly. But for me, this makes my arms look really long and makes my body look really disproportionate. So we're just gonna have to move on. <laughs> but these trousers are really good. I want to talk to you about them in particular because um, they were a size 2 and they were supposed to be high-waisted. They didn't really pass my belly button, but um, they were still just a little bit too big. They fit my legs just fine, but they didn't fit my um, torso area, like my waist at all. And um, when I put them on though, I was just like, these are really good and I think that it would look really good on a classic to wear trousers. So I think that helped with the shirt situation and made it look a little bit better. The next look I have going on, I think this is where that idea of wearing new classic lines are neutral lines. Um, and I forget where I even heard that. Essentially, this idea that classic lines can be neutral I think it shows up here. I put on a fitted sweater and these trousers. And this is a look that as a flamboyant gamine, I personally adore. I would love it even more if it was a turtleneck and the turtleneck was body tight. And also if the trousers were actually fitted properly for my body and hitting me in areas that make my body look a little more extra fine, you know, trousers and a fitted sweater that's pretty neutral and pretty simple like this, I think is where the overlap occurs for flamboyant gamines and classics. But it's not regular classic, it's definitely more dramatic classic because of this deep V that's happening here and um, the more geometric shape that's happening. Like if you threw on a blazer, if you threw on loafers or something like that. I think a flamboyant gamine could wear that look. It it would need to be amped up a little bit, I think, for a flamboyant gamine. So I added on my sweater that I love and the color scheme works perfectly and I have a little bit of color blocking going on because I'm wearing lighter shoes. I think that putting on that scarf, it raised the neckline of the outfit as well as added a little more bulk around my shoulders where there's a little bit more weight and added a fun geometric pattern and everything that made it a little bit more flamboyant gamine, added a little more detail to that outfit. I, If I were a classic, I probably would have put on a, another neutral scarf, so maybe, um, maybe another beige scarf and create like a monochrome-esque top half or maybe a black scarf or a like a dark gray scarf would look really beautiful if you were a classic and you were trying to add on another layer for your warmth or just for style. Throwing on a pattern like that, it felt refined still and it still had a classic flavor to it, but it was a little bit more flamboyant gamine leaning for me. So I just thought that that helped the look a little bit. This one, I thought that a nice fitted precise um, turtleneck would look really good on a classic, uh, but I just feel like this one just didn't look right on me. Like again, it just kind of made me look a little bit um, lumpy, <laughs> and it's not to hate on myself. Like I love my body, you guys know if you've watched these videos that this is all about um, just seeing what happens when you wear lines that aren't yours, and this is what happens when I wear lines that aren't mine. 
I feel like this sweater would look really great on a classic. Probably more like a soft classic because I feel like that added high neckline is a good detail if you're more yin leaning as a classic. And this like light ivory color would also look really beautiful as a classic and a soft classic. Um, I think that that would look really, really nice on you. Especially like even with trousers with a nice pair of denim, something that fit you guys just right and didn't have any holes or rips. What's cool about this sweater is that it ended right exactly where it needed to end on my arm for it to work for a classic. I personally would want to like bunch it up. Like I love pushing my sleeves up like this, but I think for a classic you want to probably find something that ends pretty precisely or something that you maybe like fold up if you want to show your wrists because I think as women showing your wrists is just something that is really lovely. But look at this, it just doesn't look right. It's probably just because I didn't get the right size in it now that I'm looking at it. I don't know if it would have worked even if I went larger because then it would be too bunchy in my waist area and my midsection. Yeah, I just don't think that this turtleneck is my lines. Like, obviously I'm wearing a turtleneck now, and it doesn't it doesn't bunch up here like that, so. And it has the fold down neck as well, too, but it's just a little bit shorter. It's not going all the way up to my chin, so. I think those that sweater just wasn't really my lines. But it would look really great on a classic, potentially. Let me know what kind of turtlenecks you like in the comments. Classic Pete's. I tried tucking it in to no avail. It still didn't look quite right. Okay, this is where it gets crazy. You guys, this is where it's completely unable to be redeemed, these lines here. I saw this dress on the rack and I immediately said, this one is a soft classic dress. If I've ever seen one, it's got that medium sized V neck. It's got buttons down the middle. It's got waist emphasis. It's got these delicate draping, slightly puffed sleeves. It's got a medium weight fabric. It's this beautiful sage color, which would be perfect on a soft classic. And it hits right at the knee, like right above the knee, which is a midpoint there as well. It's just perfect for a soft classic. Don't you agree? I think when I saw it, I immediately thought, this is soft classic for sure. I put it on and I felt immediately like one, I did not feel comfortable in it at all. I felt very, um, like the dress itself was physically comfortable, but I was looking at myself and I'm like, this isn't, this isn't me. This isn't even close to my style, for one. And then for two, like it just, I looked like I looked like I should have been on Little House on the Prairie, like I'm Laura Ingalls Wilder in this photo. There's just, I just feel like one, it's so symmetrical that as flame point gamine, it, it doesn't bring any balance to my proportions. It doesn't even follow my lines in the slightest. And then for two, it's so yin leaning that my body is like, no, <laughs> like, no, not at all. Don't, why, why'd you do that? Why'd you do this to me? So the whole time in this video, I'm cracking up because it just felt so not me. And I think that this is a relatable feeling. Like if you throw on an outfit and you're like, who's been there? Like, you just throw it on, you look at yourself, you're like, uh, I liked the idea of this. <laughs> who's been there? Come on, we've all been there. Then this last look is something I thought was really cool. It reminded me of something that my sister-in-law might gravitate toward. She has, she's a dramatic classic in my opinion and she looks really beautiful in a lot of these symmetrical, slightly weightier fabrics. Generally like she looks really good in denim, that like those denim dresses. That's another thing that I could never get myself to purchase because they just never looked good on me and I was just like oh, I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. They're really cute but they just don't look right on me. And that's okay, because there are tons of other things that make me feel really beautiful and really strong and really awesome, and that's just not one of them. So I thought this dress was really cool. I thought it was a little bit too extreme once it was actually on my body. Like, I feel like the sleeves needed to come in a little bit more and be more close to my body. I thought that the V was maybe a little bit too deep, but if you're a dramatic classic, you could probably do a deeper V if you wanted. Um, 
and although it might have been better if it was more horizontal square. The zipper was really cool. I think a, a zipper for classics is nice, but um, as long as it's like right in the middle, although if you're dramatic classic, you could probably handle a little bit more asymmetry if you wanted because of the yang leaning factors there in your body. And I think if that cinching in the waist came in a little bit more and was a little, it just didn't hug the body close enough to work for a classic, I don't think. So that one was kind of a dud. I don't think that um, it would have worked as well as I thought for a classic. Um, and it might work better for someone who's uh, maybe flamboyant natural, maybe yeah, I feel like maybe flamboyant natural would look kind of cool in those lines. I thought it was really cool though, I was kind of drawn to it. I loved the muted color of it, and I, it's symmetrical, and it looked really nice, but it, I don't think it was exactly dramatic classic. Not, not exactly. Those are all the outfits that I felt like bringing in the dressing room with me on... When did I film this? Monday? I thought that it was super fun to pretend to be a classic, I feel like the best look if I wanted to wear classic lines would have to be dramatic classic lines. If you're flamboyant, I mean, like, just try not to wear soft classic if you can help it. Like, find a dress like that, but that's a romantic dress, and then spice it up with yang leaning elements. But I just feel like it's just too in the middle and it's too soft. But again, whatever makes you happy. Put on what makes you feel good, put on what makes you feel beautiful. At the end of the day, it's about you feeling like your best self, like you're discovering more about what makes you feel good and what makes you feel very beautiful. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for tuning into this series. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss the next couple episodes of this series. If you haven't already, it would be really cool if you went to follow me on. Instagram at Authentic Franny. I'm over there every day, so it's a fun way to get to know me, and I'd love to get to know you guys a little bit better. It's a different sort of thing over on Instagram because I'm sharing some poetry with you, I'm sharing my art with you, and you kind of just get a very a much more in-depth look at who I am and what I'm up to on the dailies. I think those are all the little details I wanted to share with you. Yeah, check out the description box, it's full of good and lovely things. I send you lots of love and light and I can't wait to interact with you guys down in the comments below. I can't wait to hear from you classics on these outfits. I can't wait to hear from other flamboyant gamines as well about these outfits. I can't wait to, you know, just hang out. It's a party in the comments. Hey, it's a party in the comments. Hey. All that said, definitely subscribe. Go follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>